Hey everybody, Zach here and welcome back to the Constant Growth Channel. We're going to talk about Ethereum today and I want to do a video, uh, not only an Ethereum price prediction video because we've done a few different uh, renditions of that if you will. I, I did a video a little while back on why I'm going all in on Ethereum. But in this video, I want to give you my most bullish predictions, meaning if all goes perfect where Ethereum could go in the next few years. And uh, I just want to preface this entire video by saying, no matter what happens, I'm staying in the asset for a long time. I, I believe in it. I've done some due diligence. I've done some research on Ethereum for several months. I've lifted, listened to a lot of people talk about it. Uh, the likes of Mark Cuban is, is one of those uh, people who's obviously one of the most uh, successful investors out there. And listening to all of their arguments, also reading on my own, I've come to the conclusion that I do believe Ethereum will flip Bitcoin in you know, I can't put a time frame on it, but in the next, you know, several years, we'll say, right? I just think it has so much potential to grow and uh, for, for many reasons. We're not going to get into all those reasons in this video. This is going to be more tailored toward price and, you know, what are some big factors that are going to uh, impact the price and things like that. So I've got the chart up here and an interesting chart too, just looking at this. This is the six month chart. You could see this uh, meteoric rise that it had you know, starting right here in uh, mid-April. Actually, uh, take that back, mid-March. So yeah, right down here. Uh, mid to the end of March is when it really started to grow. And there were times there over uh, throughout April and May where it just seemed like Ethereum was never going to come down, right? And eventually it did. And uh, But of course we know, you know, it's, it's a long-term game, right? It's not just over the last six months. It's what's going to happen in six years? What's going to happen in 10 years? And uh, when we look at you know Ethereum with that eye and we look out into the future, I think it's going to be really, really uh, a good investment. So, all right, so my most bullish Ethereum price predictions. I'm going to get into this a couple different ways. So number one, I want to talk about Ethereum 2.0. We've got a large gap in terms of when the potential of Ethereum 2.0 could be rolled out. And I'm going to go over this article here that I'm pulling up on screen here in just a minute. But you know, if you go over to Coinbase and you read some things, uh, related to Ethereum 2.0, there's some people saying, oh, it could be out uh, late 2021, or it could be 2022, or uh, maybe it bleeds into 2023, or actually it probably won't be finalized till 2024, right? So there's a large gap. I don't know exactly when Ethereum 2.0 will come out. However, I'm waiting for it because I'm staking my Ethereum. Uh, that's a whole nother video discussion, which you could find something like that on the channel too from the past, but I'm staking because I believe in Ethereum and believe in Ethereum 2.0. With that being said, what if Ethereum 2.0 comes out in 2022? Well, that would drastically increase uh, the odds of Ethereum going up to, let's say, 10,000 uh, by 2022, right? Some people think it can hit 10,000 by the end of 2021. Uh, it's got as high as uh, about 4,600, 4,700 uh, just a couple months ago. Right now, it's sitting just below 2,000, so it's fallen off quite a bit, but we know how fast it can rise when the market is green. So in this most bullish Ethereum price prediction, the reason why I'm talking about ETH 2.0 is I'm situating this by saying ETH 2.0, let's say it comes out early 2022, hypothetically here, okay? And let's say because it comes out in 2022, Ethereum somehow overtakes or flips the great flippening theory, if they, if you know what they, they talk about that, the flippening theory is when Ethereum will flip Bitcoin and market cap. What if that happens by 2023? Let's just say, hypothetically here. So E2.0 rolls out 2022. Ethereum overtakes Bitcoin 2023, kind of wins the side of the institutional investors, right? Along with more retail investors. Could we soar to 20K by 2023? By 2023, could one Ethereum be worth $20,000? And again, this is the most bullish Ethereum price prediction. I think it's possible. Uh, there are many people out there who think it could hit 10K by the end of this year still. Uh, I don't know if that's going to happen. I think that'll probably bleed into 2022. A lot of it comes back to Ethereum 2.0, right? When does Ethereum 2.0 take place? And all right, with that being said, I want to continue to give you my price prediction. What are some things that can happen? But let me situate this by some latest articles that have come out. And uh, this one by Yahoo Finance. This one just came out this morning, actually. And it says, Ethereum has been left reeling following a devastating sell-off that has seen it break the 1875 level of support. It is now attempting to cling on to the 720, 1720 
level, which to its credit has provided bounces on three occasions over the past few weeks. And if we take a look at the price right now, we are seeing that um, it is staying right in that channel. The day's range is between 1779 and 1797. So it has not got down to that 1720 range. There seems to be a lot of support there, meaning it won't go down past that. It's not likely to. Okay, it's bounced off that over the past three weeks. So we scroll down here in this article. I want to focus in on this actually. This is kind of interesting. Uh, I didn't really understand, or I didn't really know this. Uh, this was kind of news to me. Um, Ethereum was launched by Vitalik Buterin on July 30th, 2015. All right. So I knew that, but I didn't know this. He was a researcher and programmer working at Bitcoin Magazine. Had no idea. And he initially wrote a white paper in 2013 describing Ethereum. Uh, Buterin had proposed that Bitcoin needed a scripting language, so he decided to develop a new platform with a more general scripting language when he couldn't get buy into his proposal. So this is really interesting. I didn't realize he was a researcher slash programmer working at Bitcoin Magazine. So he really saw that Bitcoin was really good and it had some utility, obviously, but it was more of a stored value. Uh, it needed more uh, scalability. And I think that's why he got the idea to start Ethereum. And they talk a little bit about that in this article, too. Let me bounce over here, just address this real quick. And this is actually going to get more into the price prediction forecast again. So we're getting more back into the numbers here. Uh, so let me scroll down here. This is another great article by, uh, by Cryptona.co. They go into a lot of uh, different areas here on Ethereum. So the difference is their purpose. Speaking of Ethereum and Bitcoin, as we just talked about, one is a stored value, similar to digital gold. That's BTC. Ethereum, on the other hand, it uh, aims to decentralize various types of apps uh, and services ranging from social media networks to complex financial agreements this is why I'm so bullish on Ethereum. It's more than just a stored value. It has applicable uh, possibilities here to change the, the, the world we live in, right? However, late 2021, we'll hopefully see the release of Ethereum 2.0. Again, very speculative. We don't know if that's going to come. 2022, 2023, maybe even 2024. All right, so let's get into some of the price predictions here. So uh, they, they talk about when could it reach to 10,000. Uh, and they talk about how the NFTs have kind of helped it skyrocket it. Digital Coin put out a price prediction. Here's their 2025 prediction, $8,047. I think that's pretty conservative uh, in terms of a 2025 prediction. Now, here's Wallet Investor, 9202 by the end of 2025. Economic Forecast Agency says only over 4000 by the end of 2024, which would really be shocking because that means it wouldn't get back to its all-time high. Uh, or actually, scratch that. They look like, they look to see, or actually, I take that back. So it says by the end of 2021, uh, it could hit uh, actually 10,000 in October 2022. Then they're projecting it to fall back down in 2024. So I, I missed that the first time. So that's interesting. Um, so a bearish outlook in terms of the four years, but uh, pretty bullish outlook in terms of the next two. And then here's some other different price predictions. And uh, I encourage you to go check out this article, Cryptona.co. There's a lot of really useful information in here. And uh, But again, just want to recap kind of what I hit on in my most bullish Ethereum price prediction. If Ethereum 2.0 comes out in 2022, if we can overtake Bitcoin by 2023, sometime in 2023, I say we as a, as a member of Ethereum. <laughs> but uh, I think if that happens, there's the potential to soar to 20K by 2023. Now, will it stay there? Probably not, right? It, there's always ebbs and flows in the market. But I think we can touch that number by 2023 if everything checks out, uh, as I mentioned. So let me know your thoughts down below in the comments section. Give it a thumbs up if you got some value. And I'll see you in the next video.